Hi there, I'm Levana Fame. Welcome to Dragon Age 2, episode 22. Hi there, I'm Levana Fame. Welcome to Dragon Age 2, episode 22. Okay. We just have the maps to give to Bartrand. Everything else we've done. So. Yeah, we'll just see what happens. We'll see what happens when we give him the maps. Still looking for our deep roads entrance. Any progress, partner? Yes, we have the maps. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? Four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? Didn't I tell you we could find a Grey Warden? Mother didn't raise a fool. Well, she didn't raise two of them. <laughs> well, color me astounded. We just pick the most promising one and go. Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready and we'll head out. Okay, good. Good. <laughs> we can we can leave, but once we come back to speak with him, that's it. That's we're locked in. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. So, speak to Bartrand in Hightown's Merchant Guild to get the expedition started, but be sure to wrap up remaining business in the city first. Well, Varric and I need to get ready for the, uh, the expedition. We have other things to wear, so let's head off to Gamlin's just to sort of end the day, because we have just come back from the coast. So, you know, we'll be tired. <laughs> Another messenger came by with a letter. It's on the desk. Ah. Okay, I thought we'd done everything, but okay. Friends in low places. I understand you're in dire need of some coin. If that's true, I believe I have a proposition that you simply will not be able to refuse. Look for me at night near the foundries in Lowtown. Dougal. Okay. And a letter for Carver. My darling Carver. I miss you so much. When are you coming back to Ferelden? The blight is over and the darkspawn are gone. There's nothing to be afraid of. Not that you'd ever be afraid, bravest man I've ever known. Okay. We're not going back to Lothering. I hear the land is poisoned or something. Father is raising money for a new farm in the Bannon. I don't know when that'll happen, but he's working very hard. We're living with my aunt in Denerim, so please send your letters there. Why haven't you been writing, Carver? Did you find another girl in the free marches? Remember, no girl will ever do what I did for you behind Balin's shed that time. You just think about that. <laughs> Write me soon. I love you. Peaches. Okay. Carver, really? Oh, well, at least she's writing you. Although, no girl will ever do anything like that for you. Hmm. <laughs> That's a little bit unfortunate I'm I'm sorry but this, it's just not true <laughs> I'm with you sister for now okay we did accept those didn't we yeah we've accepted it so we need to go to the foundries in Lowtown at night okay well we don't seem to have the quest for it Unless it's technically already been done. <laughs> well, never mind. Okay, I guess we'll head off to the foundry at night. Uh, let's take Carver with us, why not? Aveline. And... Barrick. Yeah, we'll take Varric. Uh, so, Low Town. Varric? Carver? Still think you're helping while bearing us in debt to your brother? Still riding side saddle while bitching at your betters? Drinks later. Never miss him. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, that was passive aggressive, and I'm in the wrong time. It needs to be night time, doesn't it? Whoops. You know, I'm still not getting any quest indicator. No, still no quest indication, but we'll go anyway. We did only get this after we'd accepted the, um, the expedition quest, so it's possible that it might have given it to us at the wrong time. Yeah, there's nothing here, so... Well, except for Samson. I don't suppose it's you. I hear your lad Fainreal managed to give the order the slip. Good for him. Yeah, good for him. Well, this is the foundries, this is Low Town, and it's not popping, so maybe they didn't expect you to go home. <laughs> we'll just do a circuit of Low Town. Make sure we're not missing anything. Nothing. Alright, let's get back to Gamlin's. Oh, you know what? Let's just level up Aveline real quick. One in con. Two in strength. Let's give a thick skin. The damage resistance sounds amazing. Alright, guys. Time to get ready. So, you want to wear this squire's jerkin. Yeah, to make it look like you're actually ready to go to the deep roads. That is dire need of coin. Maybe, hmm. Oh, maybe I should have done that before giving the gold in. <laughs> well, never mind. Never mind. It's done now, so what can you do? Anyway, uh, let's choose a new hairstyle. <laughs> I would prefer to have done this during the deep roads, but we have to do it now. Okay, I think that's as good as we're getting. So, I would have preferred to have done this whilst we were in the deep roads after a certain point but we have to do it now so yeah the idea is she's just slinging it out of her way but she doesn't have the time to devote to braiding it every day since obviously they would be lost in the deep roads <laughs> and it's only for the deep roads and it's easily maintained for several weeks so yeah let's just go ahead and swap over Varric's outfit <laughs> And you'll see what he's going to be wearing to the deep roads now as well. Okay. Well then, I think it's about time to go. Yeah, look at that. Actual armoured plates. His hands and his uh, knees, his toes, everything has metal on it. Apart from his face, obviously, but... Yeah, if you're going to be going to the deep roads, that's what you want to be wearing, I think. So, who do I want to take with me to High Town? No, who do I want to take with me to the deep roads? Whoever I don't take with me to the deep roads, I'm going to take with me to High Town. <laughs> Just so that they can be there to see the rest of us off. Um, Meryl, we're not taking you. We are taking... Anders, because that's just common sense, and we have to take Varric. If you're going to go to the Deep Roads, you want to take the Grey Warden. <laughs> so, we'll have a mage and a rogue 
So all we need is a warrior. So it's Carver, Aveline or Fenris. I can't take Aveline. Well, I could, but I shouldn't take Aveline. Simply because she has a lot of work ahead of her to become the captain of the guard. She can't afford to be away for several weeks. So no, we can't take Aveline with us. Um. So it's Carver or Fenris. The thought of taking Fenris to the deep roads with his feet uncovered makes me cringe. <laughs> it really makes me cringe, but I don't think I want to take Carver. I've... I usually take him just to spite Mother. And he always ends up becoming a Grey Warden, so I'm actually thinking I will... I'll not take him and we'll let him do his uh, a Templar path. I'm sure he's, when you don't take him to the deep roads and he doesn't become a Warden, he becomes a Templar, so yeah, I'm I'm really interested to see that. So Um let's take Isabella. Carver should be there anyway, I think. Yeah. So yeah. Aveline, Merrill and Isabella will come with us to Hightown. Anders, Varric and Fenris will go with us down into the Deep Roads. Kava, I'm hoping, I'm pretty sure Mother will uh, disrupt the meeting and Kava will be there. If he's not, then I guess he's just sulking somewhere else, but yeah, that's how we're going with it. Let's get to Hightown. You must really like the Hawk family. Why do you say that? You came all the way from Lothering with them, didn't you? And they're not even your clan. Humans don't have clans, Meryl. Exactly. You came so far together, and you didn't even have a keeper to make you get along. So your keeper tells you to stop kicking each other, or she'll turn the Aravel around? Sometimes she also warns us to stop pulling hair. <laughs> glib, Meryl, very glib. Strangely enough, I think she, she knew exactly <laughs> what that meant. Not as oblivious as she seems, is she? Okay. Yeah, wait. <laughs> My definitely not a staff. Look at that. It looks it looks like it could be a sword. I'm in warrior garb. I think we can pull this off. Okay, Bertrand. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. Nope, we're ready. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's get started. Then let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. Ha! <laughs> now there's an interesting image. <laughs> It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover dark spawn from the blight. Big risks, big rewards. Okay. Let's not be reckless. I mean big risks, so it kind of, it's in the it's inferred that we're going to be reckless, but yeah she doesn't want to put anyone down, so let's not be reckless we shouldn't be taking any needless risks this isn't a foolish endeavor, this will work now before we wait, who invited the old woman? I'm sorry okay, to good. interrupt, Sir Dwarf but I need to speak with my children. Mother, no. We talked about how important this is. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Carver with you? Ah, okay. Are we planning on taking Carver? I don't know. I hadn't decided yet. I'm going. It'll be fine. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand, wanting to do this. 
Leave your brother here, I beg you. I said I'm going. Besides, if we're so bloody afraid of Templars, I should go and she should hide. Well, you're not gonna be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. That makes no sense, Kava. We're going underground. I'll be as hidden from Templars as I can get. <laughs> it makes no sense. Okay, we're definitely not taking him. Uh, yeah. Let's get these in. So it looks like they were all there anyway. They were all there to see us off anyway, so it didn't really matter if I'd chosen just the people I intended to take. Well, that's fine. That is fine. Yeah. That looks good. Oh, thank the Maker. What? Now you're just being daft. You need me down there. Hmm. No, we're gonna be remaining. <clears throat> we're gonna remain diplomatic with him. We can't both go into the deep roads. It's too dangerous. So I get left behind to mind the chickens. I see how it is. Carver, your sister's only doing what she thinks is best. I know. I guess I'll have to do the same. Oh wow, we just get a head nod. We're going to the deep roads. I could co I could not come back. With, and let's get underway. And all I got was a nod. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await. Oh my god, none of those people have armor on except for us. <laughs> Varric, Fenris, and I are the only ones. Oh dear. This expedition is doomed. No, this can't be right. The champion was an apostate who came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claim this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friend did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me she is innocent! I don't know if innocent is the right word exactly. She must have <laughs> known. Somehow the champion knew what was down there. That's why she wanted to join your expedition. No. Oh, None Sandra. of us knew. If we had, this would have all turned out very differently. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the deep roads as planned, but we didn't get very far. Look at that. They look like merchants. They look like merchants just going off on a company picnic. There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. Useless! He's what got am some I paying you blighters for? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Problems, brother? Starting deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path. Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Varric? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. Hmm, okay. Uh, I can certainly handle danger, yeah. Good thing I'm no scout, or don't give up now. Yeah, let's not. Let's remain diplomatic. He's clearly losing his cool. We don't need to pour any salt on it. We need to do something. Sitting out here in the open is just as dangerous. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine, fine. Find a way around. Just do it quickly. And that's his brother is sending off <laughs> into this the deep This is why roads. I left the wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Uh, I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. 
I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. Okay. Let's investigate that, definitely. Uh, yeah, how did he go missing? When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago, I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. Okay. And um, you think he's still alive? Damn, that's kind of cold, Hawk, but yeah. One man out there alone. What are his chances? My boy is sturdier than you think. If he has one of his enchantments with him, he'll survive. He's burned down a house twice by accident. <laughs> I'm more worried about him getting lost. Oh, my poor boy. Don't we end up having Sandal and Bodan in our house? But he's burned down Bodan's house twice. <laughs> I don't know, it seems like a bit of a risk, Molly. Seems like a bit of a risk, but okay. We'll look for him. <laughs> we'll definitely look for him. We need to search the side passages. We'll bring him back if we can. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly then. Indeed. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Carver Rivalry 15. Beric Friendship 5, though, so there's that. <laughs> How is that looking? Ooh. Oh, Carver. I can never get any friendship with you. Oh, well. But we're looking good with Varric. Um, let's have a look at the expedition then. Find Sandal somewhere in the deep road side entrances. Side passages. Okay. Let's see if anyone here will say anything. We're supposed to dig through that. Uh, depends. Where is the that? Uh, Sandal is all the way over there. Well, I guess we can't jump in this game. Yeah, Whatever, wherever it is, yes, that's where we're having to dig through. You see Foden's boy walk off? No. Did you? I'm not his mother, am I? I bet he got eaten. If you wander around in the dark, you'll be eaten by a Gru. I read that somewhere. There's no such thing as a Gru. Now, dark spot, those are plenty of Okay, well, I mean, they're not wrong. If it was anyone other than Sandal, I'm sure, I'm sure they would be dead. Speak with Bertrand. My boat on, boy, if you can. I have to get these blinders digging. You know what? That actually sounds like he is concerned. He is concerned for Sandal. Maybe he really likes Bodan. Maybe they just get along very well. I do hope nothing has happened to the boy. The thought that he's out there, wandering. Oh. But, I mean, he did... He did just send his own brother out into the very dangerous deep roadside passages that his scouts wouldn't go into, and he did it with a hoof. <laughs> he was unconcerned. Maybe that's why Varric and Hawk get along so well. Neither of our families seem to be very concerned whether we live or die. So long as we're getting them stuff. Uh, okay. Let's see. That's where we're going, so let's just have a look at this dead end up here. Oof. Ooh. <laughs> That's horrible. That is horrible. Can you imagine? I mean, surely we'd be dead by now if we were actually this close to lava, but oh, can you imagine? Yeah, let's find a way around that, definitely. Ugh. Okay, actual darkspawn. No emissaries or anything like that, this is just basic darkspawn. Okay, I will wait for them to get closer. Oh, no we won't. Fenris will take care of it. <laughs> like it. I like it a lot. Well done. Go down. Come on. 
And there we go. And it looks like we've got red dots coming in from behind us too. Oh, no. No, that's in front of us. Okay, I'm getting turned around with the map. I'm getting turned around with the map. Okay. Um, let's get closer. And mind blast. Okay, okay. We might have got one at least. Let's go with that grunt. You do get results, don't you? Yes, we do get results. It's very good that you've noticed that finally. <laughs> Two silver, eighty-four copper. Brilliant. Okay, but that was the only the only herlock that actually had anything. Okay. And we have a deep mushroom sweet. All the resources, all the resources that I was. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything down there. And that's just a really old... No, pulley maybe? Is there supposed to be a chain on that? I think those little grooves go through the links of a chain and then you, you winch it. So whatever it was attached to, it's not attached to it anymore. Okay, just just bolters and herlocks. Yeah, still not emissaries. Good. <laughs> and let's get some ice into you. Lovely. Nice. Very nice. Okay, and there is a chest here. So, Varric. Open that, please. We're good. Oathbreaker. Alright. Ornate belt. Weathered dwarven clamping. Go. Okay. Well, we know that the deep rods have basically been picked clean by most things. Dark spawn ahead. I can still sense them. Well, I'm glad you can still sense them. It's not like your dark spawn sensors are going to turn off. Okay, let's get through the door. A grunt, a couple bolters, and another grunt. Okay. Oh! <laughs> let's get some ice into that one. And you can have some horror. Sweet. Let's get into the back of that bolter. And that's gorgeous. That is lovely. Are this supposed to be lyrium? That is lovely. Okay. And that is an emissary. Okay, finally. Let's give him a cushion prison. And the others are running off. That's fine. That's fine. Uh Let's give him a Hex of Torment. And some ice. Lovely. Okay, the Emissary. 14 silver, 2 copper. And in here... No, we can't, we can't even select those. Uh, is nobody curious? Because I am damn curious. That looks like a very big hole that's collapsed. Somehow, without... <laughs> it's collapsed without any rubble coming down from the top. Amazing. Okay. Well, let's get down here then. A chest with another weathered dwarven clan pin. That's all that's in the bottom of that box, just a pin. Okay. Silverite. Very nice. And a chest. <laughs> With yet another pin. Alright, let's hope that there's something good in this chest here. An opal fragment and an ornate belt. It, it'll do. <laughs> it'll do. Okay. Let's see if we can get... Oh. 
in here. Oh my gosh, that is a lot of spiders. Fantastic. Uh, let's... Oh, come on. This doesn't make it right there. There we go. And finish that one off. And get that one. And then we'll get some ice into this one. Ooh, monstrous spider. Oh, we'll get there, definitely. Okay, horror on the monstrous spider. <laughs> okay. A hex of torment. And pushing prison. Let's get in there. Okay, and a mind blast if can. Doesn't look like it did anything, but that's fine. Maybe it only works on humanoid enemies. <laughs> nice. Remains from the monstrous. Rooted Foreclaw. Okay, two gold, 55 silver and 60 copper. Sweet. Anders is trapped in there. <laughs> Sucks to be you, Anders, but it's fine. Okay. And it looks like... We've got at least two skeletons just there behind the door. I guess they couldn't get in. Or they were guarding it, maybe. Just this one chest in here. 14 silver, 18 copper, a weathered dwarven clan pin, cask heads, portable anvil. I have to assume that that's what they were... <laughs> they were here guarding. That must have been it, because nothing else would have been worth their lives. There's a lot of clan pins, though. A lot of clan pins. Okay. Let's continue. Oh, wait. Is that an actual door we can get through? No, it's not. Okay. Looks like it should be, so it's probably the return door. Okay. More hurlocks. Okay. Let's give you a mind blast. <laughs> Horror for you. And some ice. Sweet. Got you. Oh, oh gosh, okay. Right behind us. Let's get a fist of the maker on the ones that weren't just slaughtered by Fenris. Very nice. Very nice, guys. And another deep mushroom. Sweet. And yeah, okay. We can't get in there. We cannot get in there at all. Okay. Well, Sandal is just ahead. Well, I'll be a Nug's uncle. Isn't that Bodan's boy? <laughs> Hello. Talk about dumb luck. Oh, Anders, that's nasty. That is nasty. I am very interested in whether he killed all of these darkspawn. He seems alright, so, yeah. I don't believe it. Are you responsible for all this? Very nice. Boom! And how did you do that? <laughs> not enchantment. That was not an enchantment. Smart boy. Yeah. Come on. We still need to find a way past that collapse. Unbelievable. So we've got Stone's Breath. For a staff. He gave us a staff. 
spirit damage. Uh, but it is a much, much better staff than what we've got. Uh, okay. Okay. It doesn't look... It doesn't look like we've got a, a sword on our back anymore, but... It's fine. It's fine. No one here doesn't already... There's no one here who doesn't already know that I'm a mage. <laughs> Raw lyrium, sweet. Okay. And we definitely can't get through that. Unless he went through that door? No, he didn't. Okay. Well, let's continue then. That's definitely supposed to be lyrium, isn't it? That's definitely supposed to be lyrium. I mean, it kind of looks like veins. And that... Yeah, that's probably what they mean by lyrium veins. <laughs> okay. Deep roads. And lots and lots of golems. And darkspawn. Okay. This is the other end of a vast hall. Okay. So, the deep roads. There isn't a dwarf alive who remembers the deep roads as they once were. They were the network of tunnels that joined the tigers together. To be honest, it isn't even right to give them such a simple term as tunnels. They were works of art, with centuries of planning demonstrated in the geometry of their walls, with the statues of the paragons that watch our travellers, with the flow of lava that keeps the deep roads lit and warm. The cloud gazers up on the surface talk of the imperial highway built by the magisters of old, a raised walkway that crossed thousands of miles, something that could only have been built by magic. Perhaps it is comparable to the deep roads, although we dwarves didn't need magic. I suppose it doesn't matter anymore. The Darkspawn rule the deep roads now. When Ozmar sealed off the entrances to the deep roads, abandoning everything that lay out there, we handed over the kingdom that was to those black bastards forever. To think that there are genlocks crawling over Bonaman now, tearing down our statues and defiling our greatest works, Corruption covers everything we built out there. Every dwarf who goes out and comes back says that it gets worse with each passing year. The foulness spread a little further. And the cloud gazers think the darkspawn are gone just because they aren't spilling out onto the surface. <laughs> One day when Ozmar is gone for good, they'll find out differently. Those darkspawn won't have anywhere else to go but up and they'll do it. The surface folk will have themselves a blight that will never end. Transcript of a conversation with a member of the Dwarven Mining Cast. 890 Blessed. Yes. Yes. We should absolutely, absolutely be sending people down here to help clear the deep roads of the Darkspawn. It's mind-boggling that we're not. Absolutely mind-boggling. We know full well that they're still down here. We know it. Everyone on the surface knows it. Crazy. Okay. Oh, we got people coming from behind. Well, well, well. Oh, and an emissary. Okay, horror. <laughs> and a crushing prison. And a hex of torment. Oh, sweet. Okay, and let's get this to the down here. There we go. Nice. Herlock Grunt, what do you have? Five silver, fifty-nine copper. The emissary. Thirteen silver, ninety-two copper. Ooh, this is where all the Herlocks are keeping their money. Okay. Two silver, seventy-nine copper. Two silver, ninety-nine copper. And three silver, five copper. Okay. We are in to the rich herlocks. <laughs> okay. And yeah, unfortunately these 
These columns are not doing anything. Well, probably fortunately, actually, because they'll probably attack us, <laughs> not just the darkspawn. Okay. And let's go. Anything around here? No. Okay. Just a groove. And her locks. Okay. I'm not running away. Or oh, they're following Fenris anyway. Let's get some ice into you. Lovely. Okay. Up from behind. Naturally. Okay. Let's all crowd in again. Get yeah, fisted to make it up. Sweet. And that's it. You do get results, don't you? <laughs> Five silver, sixty-eight copper. Two silver, eighty-six copper. Okay, and some more raw lyrium. Lovely. Although the raw lyrium is red. Just I'm just saying. <laughs> the raw lyrium is red down here. We had all those blue tree looking things. All of these. But no, it's the little red node that we want to we want to select as raw lyrium. Okay, so we've crossed to the other side. And we can't go through that door. Yet. Can't go through the door yet. Okay. Let's grab this chest. Blade of Red Birth. Okay. Guessing that was a dagger. Yep, if we'd had Isabella with us, that might have been useful, but... Nope. Nope, not this time. Okay. Let's keep going. Alright. Just just a big room. Oh! <laughs> An ogre. Okay, horror. Oh, it did not care about the horror. Uh, Miss Hex of Torment. Yeah, and a cushy prison. And some ice if you can. Nice. Okay. It took all four of us <laughs> to kill that before it could uh, hurt anyone. Sandal managed to completely encase one in ice before it could hurt him. Amazing. 14 silver, 93 copper. Alright. Oh! <laughs> there are traps here. Varric, you couldn't have told me? Can you not see traps? Oh! <laughs> no, he can't see the traps. Okay. He cannot see the traps. What? Mm, C, isn't it? What even are your... Yeah, his cunning isn't too bad. It's not too bad. But no, he just can't see them. Okay. Any of them. Oh my god. Well, fine. We'll use your feet to find every single one. I don't know why I'm bothering. He can't see traps, apparently, so... Yeah. Okay, well, it looks like we are around. There's nothing hanging about here. Let's go then. Oh, okay, another huge cavern. I mean, that is amazing. They go all the way down to the lava. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Oh, there's a chest here. 
Are there any traps, Beric? Hopefully Easy. not. One gold, 64 silver, zero copper. A weathered dwarven clan pin, for whatever reason. Carved wooden staff, two lyrium potions, and an injury kit. Okay. Not great, but it's not bad. Okay, keep going. Yeah, Molly, you can take point. You might as well. We can't see the traps anyway. Ah, okay, a dragon. <laughs> a dragon. Um, Hex of Torment, definitely first. And then a crushing prison. With some horror. And some ice. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. And he's got that. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, misdirection hex as well. And let's try mind blast. Mind blast did nothing, of course. But it's almost gone. So. Fist of the Maker, why not? Uh, I don't think we're back yet. With the Hex. Okay, now I think it is. Hex of Torment. Yeah. And some ice. Lovely. Okay. Let's get into that dragon room there. And this one. And just clean it. Very nice. Okay. The dragon. 32 silver, 72 copper. Winter wit. Okay. <laughs> Navaran lancer. And that is a bow, so we don't need that. Robes of the spiral eye. Fantastic. Okay, unfortunately. Unfortunately, they are robes, so they're probably going to look like the bog-standard robes that we've gotten from everything else. Six silver, 42 copper. We, we might as well have a look at them, though. Eh, okay. It's not quite as bad. Not as bad as I was uh, expecting. But still, it's not what we're going to be wearing in the deep roads. Let's put our squire's jerkin back on. Come on. There we go. But yes, I think we'll be keeping the uh, spiral eye robes for when we're back in the city. That's awesome. Okay, and we are leveling up right now. Let's give them more magic. We're just going to put it all into magic this time. Let's do Pull of the Abyss, because that's actually actively drawing the enemy to the center, whereas that's just slowing. Yeah, let's do that. Let's give Varric some more cunning, in the hopes that he'll actually be able to see things. Let's give him Hail of Arrows. It's about time. <laughs> More willpower and one more in magic. Let's give him heroic aura. Yeah, a little bit of extra attack and defense for everybody in the party. That sounds amazing. Okay, Fenris. Let's put your strength up to 30. And your willpower up to 19. Let's give him battle synergy. That should be interesting. We've got Heroic Order Aura on and he has Battle Synergy. We should all have better defense. Attack and he will be particularly potent. Which is what we want from our warrior. Okay. Nothing here. Looks like that's where we're wanting to go though, up there. So we'll go around the other side as well. Just to make sure. Yep. There's nothing hidden around here. 
All right then. All right then. Yeah, this is a massive, massive area. So cool. And this is the primeval tag. Okay. Ah, here we go. This goes right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. Bartrand! We found a way around your damned cave-in. It's about time. Let's move out! It's about time. No concern. <laughs> Holy shit. Is this what you were <laughs> expecting? I thought. An abandoned dying, something old, but... What is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. After the third blight. <laughs> A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here! We need to look around. Yes, we do. Okay, and it looks like those that those blue trees, they were definitely the lyrium. Because that, that's a red lyrium uh, tree, for want of a better word. <laughs> vein. A red lyrium vein. Okay. Well. Our expedition has found something very interesting. Explore the strange tag to see what secrets it holds. And we will. Next episode. <laughs> I think this is a very good place to leave it right now. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe. I upload five videos a week, so hit the bell for notifications. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.